Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. We spoke and the Universe Sandbox 2 team listened. Uh, this latest update, Alpha 19.4, is new, uh, well, called Juno in the return of craters. You know what that probably means? Craters. Yes, like fixed. So let's see if we can get one of our custom planets that we were making before. Uh, how about Australia? If we can find Australian user objects, you Australia, and let's give Australia a lake in the best way possible with a giant crater. So this should have fixed the displacement mapping, which means that. Oh yes, I can very clearly see that there are craters there. Um. Wow, they actually made them. I think look better too. They're very obvious now. Very three-dimensional, or maybe I, it's just been so long since um, I played it with them like that, but I do actually think it's better now. Let's see what happens when we melt the water. Hopefully this fills up. Oh, it kind of has, sort of. Well, let's throw something a little bit bigger and uh, see the real effect of this. Um... So now we can actually see that Australia is completely off balanced, but that's what we wanted. And if we speed things up a ton, oh, we can see the crater. Clearly, clearly see the crater there. And I'm hoping the craters actually do affect the water levels. Um, if they don't, then that's something that's going to have to be done at some point. Oh man, look. Look at that. Um Well, yeah, the critters are certainly more obvious now. Jeez. You can really see that. It does look slightly odd. Um Because although it's lower, the water actually is not pooling into it more than anywhere else. We can see the rim where it is, but... Huh. Well, this is interesting. Um. Yeah. It actually pushes the water down. The water level isn't equal. We can see right there. The water is actually, like, curved. Um, so, it's... It is a step. It is a step forward, but... Uh, clearly there is a slight problem, at least with the water. Um, but I am liking the fact that you can actually see craters again. So let's do a little test. Um, especially, you can see them pretty well. So if we get Mercury, and just pause this and make a little bit of a happy face. Which it's not going to let me do. Okay, well, you know what? We will do this the old-fashioned way. <laughs> Something a little bit smaller. A little... Uh, more serious. Oh, God, that's all so big. Uh, if I could find... There's Make Make. Oh, that's still really big compared to Mercury. Okay, we're gonna have to go with uh, Earth for this one. Because everything else is just too small. Here we go. So we're gonna go BAM and oh you hold it down. BAM BAM Now I'm not an artist and uh, I hope you can tell that I'm not an artist because uh, I've messed up so many things when I try to make them look nice in this game. There we go. There's the eye. There is the other eye. Okay, so I'm not sure if these are going to collide how I want them to, but you know what? We're just going to hope they will. <laughs> hope and pray. Hey, Earth. How are you? Oh, they're in orbit mode. They're in orbit mode. It's okay. I can fix this. I just have to mass select them. Do, 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 do. And then... 
Zero velocities. Oh, I can do it for all of them at the same time. Oh, great. Also, I might have to look at those other options that were there too later. And now they are actually going towards Earth in the correct shape. Will it end up as a happy face? That is the question. <laughs> Oh, this is, this is actually going to look really weird. I don't think we're going to get the happy face we wanted. They kind of just all went for Earth's center of mass, which makes sense, actually, now that I think about it. Well, we have failed. We have, although, made, like, a very cratery spot on Earth, which is really bumpy. If we look at it here on the side angle, we can actually see all the bumps and how jagged they are. And we can let those fill up with, uh, oh wait, they don't fill up with water. Dang it. <laughs> or at least they don't on that. Maybe they do on Earth. Uh, let's see how it works on Earth. Oh, it did work on Earth. There it is. Huh. That's really confusing. Because it's clearly working on Earth. We have a giant lake in Africa now. So let's test this um, right in the middle of Africa. Just. Bam. Is there now going to be a lake in the center of Africa? Because that was a big collision. And it should have had the effect. Um, at least I think it should have. So again, I didn't make this game, sadly, so I can't be a hundred percent. No, I don't see any change. Okay, so I'm not really understanding how the water displacement is working. Um, I guess that's more of a guess and check sort of thing at this point. But, um, yeah, craters are actually back, and that is amazing. Uh, very good because that's going to let us do some stuff in the future. We can't make our oceans yet using it, but you know what? We can at least make giant mountains and stuff, and that is better than nothing. Um, let's see if it actually changes any of the default things, and Earth and close to moon. So the moon is going to hit Earth with all this debris. Let's see if it actually leaves a huge, like, um trench at the equator uh because they should all be hitting around the equator if we speed this up a bit no <laughs> not close enough not close enough saturn and neptune that's new. Whoa! Neptune! Watch out, Neptune! <laughs> Saturn is attacking with its rings. And Neptune is now being wrecked. And Saturn is now being wrecked even harder by its own rings. Oh, the irony. Yikes. If uh, Saturn was a rock planet, it would be... Uh... Can we actually see any distortion? No. It's a gas giant, so it shouldn't anyways. see any of the other new oh earth at a hundred thousand degrees celsius jeez next time i come back is there just gonna be an earth at a million degree are you kidding me <laughs> well there is my ans my question was answered that quickly oh we can actually see the effects of this um so right here, it does look like we have actually... Oh, well, maybe not. Well, we'll see, because this is going to be hit in that one spot over and over and over. Right at America and South America. So if we see a like lake or something there, ocean, then we know we did it right. Okay, now it's kind of hidden everywhere, but we'll just keep in mind where the main the main one was and it's pretty much all done now so we're gonna go back ignore all the debris going around earth and just go to 
Where's climate? Oh, jeez. No, I, I meant climate. Temperature 50. Uh, what? Oh, here's the surface temperature. 50. So we can definitely see there's some bumps everywhere. But is that actually going to affect the water level? And the answer to that question is no. Now we can clearly see it's lower, especially over here. Jeez. Um, but the water is actually sinking down. It's not filling in. So even on Earth, uh, Hawaii is surrounded by literal walls of water. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm not going to test this anymore because I'm fairly certain about my hypothesis here that it just doesn't affect the water level. So I'll just do other things now better than doing the same thing. Um, Let's see how an explosion nearby affects uh, the moon with these new craters because the moon's going to literally be like a giant crater now. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, the moon is literally now a giant crater. Had big craters before, but... Come on, moon. Cool down. Cool down. I'll help you a little bit. Or a lot of it. Are you kidding me? You're just heating yourself back up every time? Okay. Well, that's stubborn. Uh, let's just speed up time because that cools things down. Okay, now we're going insanely fast and for some reason the moon is staying hot. We're going... What? We're swapping from negative degrees to positive degrees extremely quickly. Which is making me think that we have run into a glitch. Jeez, I am sorry you us two team. I did not mean to run into all these glitches in one episode. Jeez, I feel like a terrible person. Um, let's <laughs> let's try something else then. Whoa, Earth exploding! <laughs> I wonder if that'll leave a crater. Well, Earth's gonna be gone, so we won't even be able to tell, honestly. See, there's the crater. It's right about there. Ooh, we have this really big chunk over here. This one. Oh, how warm is that? Ooh. Actually, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's not that bad. And what else can we do sometime? Oh my. Oh, the craters. They've made the... Oh, what is going on? <laughs> They've made this uh, rock like... Oh, it has just enough mass to become circular, but losing it that very tiny amount and now it's just a rock floating through space forever let's see if there's anything else that's like super new um there was one new model juno so let's just add objects juno here we go here's juno looks pretty fancy if I had the sun, we should be able to see it a little bit better. Just boop. Juno, I know you're now racing towards the sun pretty quickly, but it's okay. Can we just turn you a little bit so that we can see you a little bit better? Oopsies. I did not mean that far. Okay, you are actually getting really close to the sun now, man. You were going to want to calm down a little bit there. Okay, now I feel a bit better about this. And if we tilt you... Oh, look at you! You're all reflective with your solar panels. You're hurtling towards the sun at insane speeds. How um, fast are you going? Oh, you are currently going 161 kilometers per second, which is... Not comparable to light speed, but it's still fast. 
I mean, we're not going to downplay the speed of this. And we are accelerating quite quickly. You know what? Let's make it hit the sun at light speed. You know, what's the worst that could happen? And we'll just slow this down a lot. And just set this to one light speed. Now we are moving at the speed of light. Which means it would be pretty hard to see Juno now. But Juno is now going to just, uh, you know, go towards the sun. At the same speed of the light escaping the sun. We wouldn't be able to see this because the light from this would be going away from us at the same speed it was going towards us. And now the sun is about to get hit by this probe going very, very fast. And the sun has now been hit. And what's going to happen? Now, is a whole lot of nothing going to happen, or is something interesting actually going to occur? Nope, nothing's... Oh... I don't know if that's just a sunspot. <laughs> yeah, those are just sunspots. Yeah, nothing actually did happen. Okay, well that was interesting. Um, hmm. What have we done? We've done the craters, we did a little experiment with Juno. That's pretty much this entire update, so I think this is going to be a shorter video. But, uh, if this video goes up when it's supposed to, uh, Merry Christmas Eve if you celebrate it, and if not, just Happy Holidays, whichever one you celebrate, or none, I don't judge. That star does, though, so let's just explode it very quickly. You know, son, you gotta stop judging everyone. Boom. See, kids, that's what happens when you judge people. You will supernova. <laughs> and if you like this video right now, you won't supernova within the ten se next 10 seconds. But if you really do want a supernova, then if you like the video, you will supernova. So, like, either way, it's gonna happen, so might as well uh, give me a little bit of happiness right before you explode. So, yeah, I will see you all next time.